Oh, I cannot believe this. I am trying to get this coaching business started and nothing I'm doing is working. You ever been there? You ever felt that kind of frustration? Let me tell you the top three things that you need to do right now to get your coaching business off the ground in 2021. I'm Don Stratton Jr., Godfather of Sales. If you like this information, if you'd like to hear more of it, please be sure and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Subscribe, hit that little bell, get notified when new videos come out. Let's get into it. So the first thing that you have got to stop doing if you wanna get your coaching business off the ground is quit adding coaches on social media. Stop. You're wasting your time. There are so many coaches of coaches out there that when you're adding all of these other coaches, they want to bring you into their program and help you how to do whatever it is that they specialize in doing. They're not your client. Now, if you are a coach of coaches, of course, you need to ignore that portion. But for the most part, you need to stop adding other coaches and marketing agencies only talk to and add the people that are your dream clients. If they're not a possible client and you're just trying to build a network, that's not the way you build a coaching business. All right, it's okay to have a couple of coaches. It's okay to have people that you're friends with to go and talk to. That's not how you build a business. You need to start adding people that you want to hear your message. Along with that, you also need to understand that if you're running a Facebook group, to help provide value to people and to help grow people's awareness of what you're doing, which is a great idea if I do it, stop inviting people into the group. You're going through your own friends list and you're inviting people into this group. Are you making sure that the people that you invite in are your ideal client before you do? Uh, just like you don't want to continue adding a bunch of coaches and a bunch of marketing agencies and all these affiliate marketers out there that are just trying to get you into what they're doing, they're not your dream client. You don't want to just invite a bunch of people into your Facebook group to get vanity numbers in hopes that it will make it look more important. You're talking to the wrong people at that point. Stop doing it if you are. Number two, you need to know your offer. This is one of the things that it took me a little bit to learn. You've got to be able to put together your offer to speak to the people you can help the best. You need to sell them what they want and then give them what they need. Your offer needs to offer change. It needs to offer a life altering situation for them. You need to offer changes and results, not a service. Me personally, I teach people sales. I teach people how to become closers. I teach other coaches how they can increase their close rates through having a proper conversation. Right? That's what I do. I give people the ability to make a living from home. Catch that? I don't tell people I'm a sales trainer. I'm a sales coach. I am, yes, but what do I do for you? I can teach you how to make a full-time living working from the comfort of your own home. And I can do so within 60 days. That's a result, that's a change. I'm not telling them I'm gonna give you this many videos and this much of a program and this much. It's not the way you do it. You offer changes and results. Then you give them those other things that they need in order to get there. Number three, and most important, be genuine. Be yourself. Look, I don't drive a Lamborghini. I don't have a Porsche. I'm not living in some high-end mansion or some, you know, top-level condo. I don't try to pretend that I am. I'm here in my little six-bedroom house with my children, my wife, a couple blocks away from a lake. It's comfortable. Yes, I am not rolling in money the way some people try to make themselves out to look. I make a good living, I'm very comfortable, I love what I'm doing, and yes, I'm continuing to grow, but I'm never trying to convince anybody that I'm something I'm not. I'm just a dumb truck driver from Kansas who happens to enjoy working with people and be good at 
and sales and teaching people how to do it. And so now I make my living doing what I love. Be genuine, be yourself. If you're trying to be somebody else and trying to convince other people that you're something you're not because you think it's going to impress them and bring you more clients, you're learning the hard way that that doesn't work. And it never will. Sooner or later, you will fall. It happens every time. I've tried it. I know, I did it once. I tried to make myself out to be something that I wasn't yet because I saw it working for other people, what they were doing, so I wanted to be like them and have that success, so I'm gonna make myself look like them. Doesn't work. Be genuine, be yourself. Offer people changes and results, not systems and parameters. And stop adding other coaches, other agencies, other people that are not your ideal client on social media and are wondering why you can't seem to get anybody on a call to talk about your program. Look, if you'd like to get some more information about what it is that we do, you can join the Facebook group, links down below. You can click the other link down there to get more information on how you can become a real life closer. Let me show you how to make more money from home. Come find out, schedule a call with somebody on our team. Let's see if you've got what it takes to be a real life closer. I'm Don Stratton Jr., Godfather of Sales. We'll see you in the next one.